Uh, we're here to watch some of the greatest indigenous highlights, so enjoy. Oh no, I'm going with that. <laughs> hey guys. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go, 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 go. And we're here to watch some greatest. Uh, I'll, I'll say, I'll say. <laughs> hey guys, Bradley Hill. Hey guys, it's Ian Wang and Miller here, and we're going to watch some of the greatest moments from indigenous players. Yeah, <laughs> give it. it. <laughs> This is Big Buddy's thousandth goal. We haven't watched it, stayed up for it. <laughs> I think everyone was watching it that night. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Yeah, I remember, like, you know, the, the night lead into the game. Um, I think everyone knew they were gonna, you've, got, you've got to be watching the game because Buddy was a chance to kick his um, thousandth goal. And I, I'm pretty sure he kicked a few early on, so you sort of knew he was, it was a big chance to, to kick his um, thousand that game. And, um, yeah, I remember just sitting there just hoping he, he did it then and um, yeah, to see all the fans and just, yeah, even how he embraced it was pretty pretty special and yeah, I don't think we'll be seeing anyone else do that. <laughs> I probably would have ran in with him. <laughs> <laughs> I remember seeing a couple of boys on the outside of the stadium, weren't they? So um, yeah, it's, yeah, it's pretty crazy. One of my favourite players. Special that one. Did you like him? Yeah, pretty good. I think he's a, he's a smoother, smoother. You'll see, on the smoother, smoother. So that's why I really liked him growing up. He was definitely one of my favourite players and one of my favourite Indigenous players of all time. Yeah, well, I was I was a West Coast fan growing up, but I just still remember because my mum loved footy. But um, just seeing Andrew McLeod and how smooth he was as as a move and the way he he used the ball and just take the game on all the time and. Um, yeah, when I got a little bit older, he was someone I really enjoyed um, watching highlights of, and um, wanted to everyone, uh, yeah, wanted to play sort of like him. Um, and he's obviously really big in, in big games and grand finals, and won Norm Smiths, and yeah, he was a, he was definitely um, yeah one of the greatest Indigenous players to, to play. Yeah, I reckon I saw him uh, one time at this Indigenous um, academy. Um, I think it, yeah, Sasta Shield. It was called and um, yeah, I remember seeing him a bit, a bit starstruck and you know, his big calves he had and <laughs> yeah. uh, he's no, nah, he's pretty solid as well. Like, still looked like he could play and yeah, obviously he's a yeah, pretty smooth mover. And... <laughs> like, yo. Whenever I think of him, I just always remember that West Coast game when he just yells in the face with that bloke. But yeah, he was, he was a oh, special player. This it is, I Yeah, this is my video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I always get through this one. <laughs> I still see that guy on the cheers go for West Coast too. <laughs> oh, I think of Mickey O every time. <laughs> oh, my number one player here, Cyril. This is 100 now. Yeah, I think Buddy's 100. Yeah. Pretty sure that gave as well. Clucko um, sent everyone back so Fev couldn't kick 100. <laughs> Make sure it's just Buddy's night, eh? I've never played a four line with Cyril and Buddy. I oh, know. Ridiculous. What was better, 100 or 1,000? What was a better stampede onto the ground? Nah, I reckon 1,000 probably. Everyone was a bit quicker to get on the ground for sure. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> Naz was watching me, yeah. He's like, go, Brad. <laughs> can you follow? It's pretty small, man. Yeah, well, well, we're up by 30 points here, so. Um, yeah, it was obviously, you sort of knew you, you were home then, and um, yeah, it was, it was pretty hard. It was a long time ago, it was 10 years ago, I think now, so. Um, or 11 years ago. Um, yeah, I just remember this. I couldn't believe I was, you know, playing in grand final at such a young age and playing against my brother, which was, which was awesome as well. And um, yeah, mum was in in the crowd, and um, either way, she was winning. <laughs> so um, yeah, it was it was great to when that ball just got kicked. I knew I was out the back, and I was I was running faster than I, I ever did in that game. So <laughs> just to get that little easy goal, um, but yeah, still, yeah, I just remember it like it was yesterday. Probably when it when it first happened, when I was first got drafted. Um, obviously, Hawthorne had a lot of big name players and um, they're one of the top teams and um, yeah, 
when I was probably 15, 16, Cyril was definitely my favourite player. And I still remember the club found out he was my favourite player. And uh, when I went, got to the airport, when I landed in Melbourne, Cyril picked me up. So that was pretty special. There's not much words spoken in the car, though. I was sitting in the back, pretty shame. Um, but yeah, like it was crazy to, to, to be able to play alongside some of those greats. I was one of his favourite players. Nah. <laughs> nah, I what, nah. Nah, yeah, he was, yeah, I remember watching him play going up on the wing, running around. Um, yeah, I think I remember this game. I remember like Channel 7, um, Sunrise, watching when his mum was interviewed and he was out at like even Stephen. Um, yeah, I remember watching him around. Probably looked up to him a fair bit as well. Similar play, like playing style. And, and I remember following him a few times on Instagram just to see if you follow him back. No follow him back, eh? Nah, but yeah, I remember he sent me a message saying, oh, yeah, like, congrats and all that. And, He's like, oh, don't be shame, and yeah, just, I was shame when I met him. And, but no, he was, yeah, he's pretty fun to be around. Um, yeah, get a lot of fun out of him. And, um, Bit yeah. Of a jokes, though. So message, you know, <laughs> he hasn't followed you back. Nah, this oh, is. Nah. A, I'm, I think you're saying before he got drafted. Once drafted. he got drafted, I gave him the follow. <laughs> <laughs> Once he got his blue tick, eh? <laughs> no blue tick. Uh, that's your uncle, mate. You can talk. <laughs> nah. Yeah. nah. Watched us a few times back in the day. Yeah, it was against us too. I remember some me and Tex grew up like brothers and you know, I'd always go around to his house and um, Tex would come over to mine and I remember my uncle Gavin coming around all the time and um, like he'd just rock up and the first thing we'd do is get in the car and go to the oval and me and Tex would play just like oh you know, Gavin would kick the ball out in the goals and me and Tex would have to get it back and kick a goal and yeah it was um, I probably didn't realise like how good of a player he was until I was you know, in my teenage years, and um, yeah, obviously proud of him. Family's proud of him, but yeah, I just saw him as an uncle, and you know, like from a young age, him and uh, me and Tex, um, you know, he taught me and Tex a lot of things. Oh, he's just always told us to just to work, um, work our hardest, and um, you know, just practice. Um, you know, you're kicking and all that, like left and right foot, and I remember mean, he was doing that with us from young ages, and yeah, just, yeah, pretty much said work hard, and yeah, you, you achieve things if you work hard. What would you say if you knew you were watching his highlights? Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, I'm not sure. He'd, yeah, he'd love it, probably. <laughs> you like so, that goal, eh? Sounds yeah. fun. Sounds fun. To Cheryl. I set it up for him nicely, eh? <laughs> I said, yeah, I'll put it on his head and you go do the rest, it'll jump on his head. I still find it crazy just how he always just lands on his feet and how quick he can go. When I look at Cyril, like, you know, I spent five years with him and, you know, he, he was like a big brother for me and, um, you know, the relationship that we had was, you know, I had so much support from him and um, even he, his partner too, so. Um, yeah, it was awesome having Cyril, but him as a player, oh, when people are trying to compare people to Cyril, I always say you can't compare to Cyril. Cyril's um, he, he's on his own sort of level and um, just, yeah, the way he played was just crazy. His, his tackle pressure, the way he could take marks, the way he could kick goals, um, he could pretty much, he could do everything. So, um, yeah, like I, yeah, still, I always say he's my favourite player that I've played with and probably one of the most um, gifted players. Obviously, Buddy as well, but um, yeah, Cyril as a as a small man could just he could do everything. So um, yeah, definitely one of the, one of the best players. Um, yeah, I was grateful to be able to play alongside him for for five years. Good day, footy fans. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you subscribe to the AFL YouTube channel for some more awesome videos.